With a mattock, you might have a, a layer that's that thick that doesn't have any importance. Old spoil, for example, from old excavations. And that's a good tool for getting the most of the material off to get to what's more interesting is the best way of putting it. You would use a trowel to remove fine soil layers to expose what's underneath. You would use a brush or a leaf trowel, which requires some slightly more delicate work. The work we've done scraping back the soil layers in the, in the Roman baths here has been primarily about removing a layer of modern trample which has accumulated since the, since the area was first dug out in, the, in about the 1890s. It's cleared a, a lot of the old problems away um, and it's adding new detail. It's something, something new uh, to see, uh, some little um, chink of understanding. The scraping back process that we've done here is starting at the very edge of the trench. We take it down to the first archaeological deposit, what we call in situ, in its original position. So what we've got here, using trowels, is the floor that survived at this height. And you have to bear in mind there were later floors above it. Um, but this is the floor that was left when they did the excavations around the Great Bath in the 1880s. This is one of the photographs I took showing the side of the trench below where I'm crouched. We know, for example, that the uppermost floor is later than the wall that you can see here. It goes up against it. Uh, so anything that we find in a way of pottery in the layers below that, or that we found in the past, that tells us a date after which that floor has to be in place. It's not before that date. So it'd be like finding a, a 1950 10 pence piece, for example. If you find that in a layer, you know that layer cannot be any earlier. It has to be after that. We're trying to work out not just what we're finding, but how it fits into the buildings around it. The end game is still to get the best possible look at the archaeological remains you can, to get them as clean as possible so that you understand what it is you're looking at um, and the sequence in which those remains were, were laid down in the first place.